Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode we finished up the whole ship thing. Now we're at the pretty much the end of the day, the first day of a new loop. And what I want to focus on for this one is trying to deal with Quince. So before, in the last loop, we tried to deal with Quince, but the way I did that was by telling Hamlet a, that Quince is a danger right away on the very first day. And then to confirm that, they wanted to speak with the ghost of their father. Which is what we're about to do in about 30 minutes. But the ghost is rather forgetful and it didn't remember any of that. So it just told him, like, what are you talking about? No, I don't know what Ophelia was talking about with Quince being a danger and all this stuff. And then Hamlet's like, okay, Ophelia, you're going insane. <laughs> Pretty much is what they thought after that. So this time, I'm going to talk with the ghost myself to jog their memory before telling Hamlet. Things are almost peaceful here at the start of it all. You and I are the only ones who know about what's coming for them. The rest of them, they'll never believe me, will they? It is impossible, yes. It is the rules of the larger game. This is a game to you? I did not give it that name, but it is a game all the same, and you the one forecast it to lose. Now then, what news do you bring? So I think the only new thing is Quince, right? The King's Cursed Book? I think we've already talked with him about that, I'm pretty sure. The King's Note. The Cursed Book, the King's Notes. Mm. Banishing the Blade Master. Let's just do that one. Spirit. I met Simona, and she revealed to me the true culprit. Peter Quince, the Playmaster, is behind us being trapped in Elsinore. Peter Quince? He is but flesh and blood. What ill can he do to you? I can assure you I had a conversation with him where he most certainly proved he was not human. Impossible. Quince encouraged me to find the Book of Fates. He urged me to find a way out using the book as my guide. Ah. Because he wanted it for himself. He tried to threaten me into handing it over, but I didn't give it to him. For what purpose could he desire such an artifact? Because he's trapped in this world, our world, until I use the Book of Fates and free us both. That's why he's been in Elsinore for so long. Queen Astrid, you, me, none of us were able to use the book and conclude his time in this world. Until that happens, you'll only make new victims out of people in this castle. He... And I, I've realized what this is. It's just like chess or cards. We're taking turns telling this story. I do something, and then he bends the story in his favor. Simona told me the world would constantly spin towards disaster. She was right. Why? But I can't figure out why. What does he get out of tormenting us? Of setting up these situations where everything devolves into blood. What's the point? What's the point if he's still trapped in this world regardless? I see. What? How? Boredom. <sighs> Boredom can be quite frightening. Even I, who have been dead but a scarce several months understand how frightening it is. Unable to truly die, yet unable to engage with human life. It is like standing outside a window, watching those inside gorge themselves on a feast. I press my hands against the glass nightly. But try as I might, I cannot join them. I have relinquished my seat at that table, and a wolf now sits in my place. Here I remain, bored out of my bones, 
lingering like refuse. If that's true, then Quince is only being cruel. Deeply, horribly cruel. Yes. Cruelty is one cure for that boredom, a route I myself was inspired to take. And now my son wages revenge on my behalf. Hamlet. Please. You and Hamlet must speak. You must tell him. He'll only believe all this if he hears it from your mouth. It sounds insane otherwise. And once you have, perhaps the three of us can find a way to stop Quince for good. Agreed. You must bring my son to me. Yes. Bring him here with those same words, and the three of us shall conspire to end Quince. <laughs> a ghost, a mad prince, and you. What a trio we shall be. <laughs> it is a pretty funny trio. Alright, Hammy. Now I can tell you about banishing the playmaster. I think the conversation will go the same. Quince? Right, Hamlet is going to consult with her father. Question is, when? Like right now? Oh yeah, right now. Good. I was hoping they wouldn't wait until the day after. The father? Hamlet. You've returned. I... I promised myself I wouldn't, but something's changed. My only desire is to remove my uncle from the throne of Denmark, as you bid me do. And I had formed a plan to do that, in tandem with the playmaster Peter Quince. Father, what do you know of that man? Do you have any reason to fear him? My son. Listen carefully to me. I was wrong. Claudius is not our enemy. A more insidious foe awaits. Who? I misspoke in accusing my brother of my death. He was driven by something far more peculiar. Quince is such a peculiar man. He is not human, Hamlet. He is a demon of some twisted persuasion, or a god, I do not know which. The Playmaster? Father, are you certain? How can someone inhuman look so normal? I... I do not know, but I do know that I have seen many strange things in this life of mine. You know I am dead, my son, and yet here I stand before you. The power we discuss is something greater than the bounds of this world, greater than anything we know. His can even transcend death. It caused me years of anguish and grief. I was trapped in Elsinore, unable to live or die, in some hellish version of this world where time repeated itself. And now Ophelia is trapped, too. Earlier, Ophelia told me that he conspired to kill you, father. Is it true? In a manner of speaking, Quince is the one who kept me in that shadowy version of Elsinore. I knew Claudius was trying to murder me from the start, but whenever I stopped him, things only became worse. In one world, your mother drowned herself and took you with her. In another, Claudius created a conspiracy and convinced my own men to turn against me and have me imprisoned indefinitely. Every world was more vile than the world where I did nothing at all. And so, eventually, I gave up. I lay in that garden for years, broken into three-day spans of time. Eventually, I did not return to life, and yet my spirit still lingers. It is Peter Quince's power that keeps me here. Ophelia has helped me realize this. We were merely the puppets to his infinite jest. Please... Save me. Save my soul. Kill him. It's the only choice I have left. Merely destroying your uncle will not free me, or Ophelia. 
I... I don't know how to feel about all this. If what you say is true, then we've got to turn the tables on Quinn somehow. We need to destroy him. For your sake, and for Ophelia's. <sighs> but what will happen when he's dead? Will you disappear, father? Oh. I do not know. My form is feeble. I feel my flesh disintegrating. I must go. Be careful, my son. Think long upon your plans. I don't wish to cause you any more suffering than I've already brought you. Father? I'm going to destroy him. I promise. I'm going to free you. I promise. No matter what might happen afterward. Hamlet becomes upset but will recover overnight. Hamlet now believes that Quince is dangerous. And now believes that King Hamlet experienced time loops. Ophelia. I believe you now. And my father. I don't understand fully, but I want to. Hmm. I've thought of a plan. We'll turn the play upon the playmaster. I've been working with him to concoct a performance to shame my uncle in public. But if we surprise him and turn the tables on him instead, then we can catch him where he can't hide and kill him before an audience. And what then? The others will believe we've murdered a man in cold blood. Yes. Come what may, we'll figure it out together. As long as the two of us are alive, I know we can manage. Quince is highly intelligent. If we use a performance to trap him, we'll need to surprise him somehow. If we can get your father's spirit to appear, that may sufficiently frighten him. He and I can keep Quince distracted while you plunge a blade into his heart. <laughs> My thoughts precisely. It's a shame we aren't in the business of killing. We'd be quite good at it, I think. You have no idea. Let's prepare. You speak to your father and tell him of our plan. I'll ready myself when the time comes. Learn about a future event in which Hamlet puts on a special performance for Quince. This all sounds way too easy. There's no way it could be this easy. And there's still big questions about even assuming we can kill them and even assuming that that actually works and they stay dead and they don't just force the time loop to repeat for us just like it goes back to the beginning when we die which is what i suspect will happen even if that doesn't happen and they do die and all that what about the book of fates like do we just not need to use it anymore then because it's all over I don't know. It's not going to be this easy, though. There's absolutely no way. When is a performance? Hamlet shares what he learned about Quince. Ah, with us. And then almost everybody is going to be there. For the performance. Let's just go there and wait, I guess. It's about to happen. Everybody's dining right now. Okay. It's time. Are you ready? I... I don't know that we can be ready for something quite like this. But I'm going to try. If something terrible happens to me, you can always try once more, can't you? I don't know. I think so. Welcome, one and all! So this is the same, of course. Quince! My good playmaster prepared some material of my own. Ah. Brilliant! How keen of you, my prince. I don't often relinquish the stage, but you have such charisma when you're in the mood for it. 
Come on up, then. My thanks. No script. Are you improvising today, my lord? I certainly am. Now then. Everyone, I have something to tell you. Please, listen carefully. We are all in grave danger. This man, Peter Quince, wishes to cause us great suffering. In fact, he has. In past worlds, and other versions of the world we live in now. Uh... Other worlds? Oh dear. He's finally broken. Listen. He's telling the truth. Quince is a murderer. He's orchestrated all of your deaths. The when, the why, is not important. But if you don't listen to us, you'll all be dead within two days' time. Ophelia? Get down from there. What on earth are you doing? Yes. I wouldn't have learned about Quince's plans if it weren't for Ophelia's help. We owe her our lives. Everything calamitous that's happened as of late, it all has been Peter Quince's doing, his wishes to see us suffer. He's treasonous. Indirectly, he organized my father's murder at Claudius's hands. <gasps> murder? What is happening? I, uh... Stop! I'm no murderer, and I don't know what you're talking about. Clear the stage. This performance is over. On the contrary, this performance has just begun. Uh, a ghost? What? No. Is that... King Hamlet's spirit? No. It can't be. You're dead. I put you into your grave myself. Ugh. You again? Haven't you got an empty wall to haunt? Brother. Goethe, be not afraid. I come not to destroy, but to rebuild. It cannot be. How is this possible? Hamlet. Is that really you? Are you truly here? Or is this some spirit sent from hell to claim me at last? Goethe. I am a spirit, but not here to claim you, Goethe. Don't weep, my love. I have heard your prayers and whispers. I was with you in your loneliest moments. You were never alone, not for a minute. And now I wish you only happiness. Hamlet. Is it true you were murdered? Yes, it is true. Look upon your husband's face. You have only to look to see the truth. Goethe. Do not hate him, my love. His hand was forced by the plodding pace of fate. And the one cranking that wheel was Peter Quince. Peter Quince? This little countryside playmaster? But I don't understand. He's just a visitor. What reason could he have to desire your death? Ah. Yes, do explain yourself. I'm merely a humble traveling thespian. If ever you trusted me, then know also that this man is a danger to you, innocent though he seem. It is because of him that I linger here in this world, unable to pass on. It's true, my lords, my ladies. We have to act against him. Claudius. If you wish to save what remains of your kingdom and its future, help us end this man's life. Help us and redeem yourself. Brother. Do not leave me in this state any longer, brother. Let me pass on. Kill this man. Seize him. <laughs> Gladly. Uh, uh, uh. Come now, Claudius. You don't actually want to kill me. All this exhausting, confusing drivel. What does it mean to you? What difference does it make if you killed your brother? Look at all you gained. 
Look at the richness of your reward. Doesn't that make it God's own will? All this is just a misunderstanding. The insane delusions of your insane nephew who hijacked a community event to make his final stand. Can't we have him off to an asylum and be done with it? Be silent. I believe my brother's spirit. Hamlet, grab him. Huh. No, thank you. I don't like to be touched. <gasps> Hamlet! He's dead? Claudius! He's not even touching them. What is this? Ophelia! I warned you. I don't feel like playing anymore. Let's call this round a draw and return to the beginning. That way I won't have to punish you. Or maybe I'll teach you how much further this pain can go. Even then, I won't give up. I'm gonna keep coming at you. <laughs> how do you want me to kill Hamlet next time, love? Shall we watch him gurgle to death on his own bile and blood? Shall we hang him and watch his face turn blue? I wonder how many pieces of you I can break before you die. Shall I begin with your wrists and ankles and go from there? Snapping every little bone like a winter twig, working my way up to your neck. Oh, I simply can't wait. We're going to have a lovely time. You think I'd let you do that? I can do anything I want to you. There's nothing you can do to stop me. And this story? This is mine. I will not allow you to steal it from me. Now, Ophelia, I simply must congratulate you on a heroic attempt. It was nearly well executed. But, well, nearly doesn't count for very much, does it? You demon! You can come after me, but so help the witless devil who comes for my family. My family. Is he really... Can it be over? The world has come undone. Now a new story begins. Hmm. I suspect what happened is what I thought would happen, which is if either I or they die, we go back to the beginning. Since this is our shared story, is it not? That's what happens when I die. Why wouldn't it be what happens when they die? <gasps> yep, right back in bed. Hey, where's the Book of Fates? The Book of Fates used to be on this table right here. It's not there now. That's worrisome. Is he dead? Where's Hamlet? It's quiet. Yeah, something's very wrong. <laughs> no Hamlet in my room this time. Something's definitely changed. I wonder if father's outside. Learned more about Queen Gertrude, and we learn about a new beginning. Oh. Some but- Oh, I just accidentally clicked out of the game. Some buttons are missing. Namely, the timeline and the reset the loop button. Now it's only this lead. Hmm. I wonder how this is going to play into the Book of Fates. Because there were so many different endings that we could have chosen, and also so many different endings that we hadn't discovered yet. Surely they wouldn't allow us to just go past that and render the Book of Fates irrelevant? So surely we're going to go back to the Book of Fates, right? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how I'd feel if I never got a chance to finish the other potential endings. Hmm. 
What did we, uh, oh, shit. Quinza's actually listed as dead in the journal. Uh, spoilers. What did we learn about Gertrude? I'm not sure exactly what it is that we learned here. None of it mentions Quince. I don't know if this is new. Gertrude was born in Austria and is a member of the illustrious Habsburg family. In fact, her father is the Emperor Maximilian. The first. She's worked incredibly hard to learn Danish and minimize her accent entirely. I know she has a sister as well, who lives outside Denmark. Royal blood runs thick through her veins. Why would that have been added, though? If that is the new thing. Ooh, the real question. Can I still take clothes from my dresser to make an artist's kit? No! I can't! Okay, this is normal. I see. It's the same as before. You're still here. Still here? I was about to say the same about you. You're going to miss the party. Everyone else is already in the Great Hall. Your brother suggested we ought to let you sleep, but I'm glad to see you refreshed and ready. Yes. Come downstairs when you're ready, won't you? <sighs> What's going on? This is all new. A trick. There's... It can't be. This must be another trick. Oh, hey, Laertes. Yeah, I agree. This must be a trick. Like... My best guess is that we went back to the beginning and then Peter Quince, alive once again at the beginning, decided that they wanted to change the story. Since I'm sure they have the power to do that. I think this is part of them trying to maybe torture us or trick us into thinking that Peter Quince is dead. Make it look like everything is good now, you know? I'm living in a dream world where everybody's alive and nothing's wrong anymore. So maybe they're hoping we'll just give up and be like, okay, great. Oh, Edgar. Father. There's my girl. Huh. Finally awake, a lazy sister of mine. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, why was that so loud? <laughs> Gertrude, chill. Hmm. Uh, you'll have to pardon mother. We all began drinking a bit much waiting for you to rouse. The wine's been out for hours. <laughs> I'm so happy. I love a good summer feast. My love. Can we finally begin? I know you wanted to wait for Ophelia. Well, here she is. Let's not let the food grow cold. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gillenstern is such a whiny little baby. <laughs> Please, I'm starving to death. I'm not long for this world. Gilda. We just had sweetmeats. Not an hour ago, too. But have you seen the table? Yerma outdid herself. I can't wait another second. I'll die. <laughs> Finally, someone who likes to eat my food as much as I like to make it. I feel like what's going to happen here is that ever like Quince is going to just make everybody die as if they just ate poison. And then they'll pop up and be like, ha ha ha, you thought everything was fine. I... Uh... You all are having a party? What of the morning court session? What of Fortinbras? <laughs> Fortinbras? You mean the Prince of Norway? What of him, Ophelia? Uh... He... Well, the diplomatic effort. Uh, didn't he... Isn't he threatening Denmark? What? Sire, have I missed something? Uh... I don't think so. I'm not sure what you mean, Ophelia. But I have noticed there's no goblet in your hand. Hmm. Uh... 
come drink, be merry, and that's a royal order. Mother. Do you need to be tucked into bed? You're drifting off. Don't mind her, Hamlet. Let her sleep if she wants to. She'll wake up as the night goes on. My lord. I'll watch over her, my lord. I'll call for you if she wakes. Uh, assuming I'm not drunk myself. She seems remarkably happy tonight, doesn't she, uncle? The happiest since, well, <sighs> since father's illness took him. Aye, she does. I wish his health hadn't declined so quickly. I loved my brother. I wanted him to live. For her sake and for yours. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing to be done. Plague steals indiscriminately. My father was a good man. And you? You're the closest to him I have now. All will be well in time. I'll drink to that, nephew. This is so strange. Did history itself change? Claudius isn't a murderer in this world, at the very least. Laertes. Aren't you sailing for Paris? Huh. Huh, <laughs> about that. For some reason, I couldn't sleep last night, and I got to thinking about it. I believe I'll stay in Elsinore a while longer. There's time enough for travel later on. How often does such a bright, warm summer as this come to visit Denmark, after all? <laughs> well, that's wonderful. I'm sure Britt will be very happy, too. Hmm. Happy that he's staying? That's well, not the worst, I suppose. Listen. Ophelia, just between you and me, I've got a little surprise in mind tonight. Wait and see. Ophelia. Let me show you to your seat. Shall we dine? Of course. <clears throat> Everyone, I have a toast to make. You're here. Of course, Laertes. I'd like to toast. To health. To life. And to love. And to this brilliant, wonderful woman, whom I love, and who has loved me in return. What? To some, our relationship has been known a long time. To others, it may be uh, more of a surprise. This is very weird. There has never been this much unbroken, fully voiced dialogue ever. That alone is weird. Huh. I'll say. And why is it? Why is it just Laertes? Not even Polonius is fully voiced. Why have I never heard of this before? Laertes. Laertes, you don't have to. Tonight, I'd like to ask Lady Burgetta for her hand in marriage. Ah, oh, so it's pronounced Brigitta, not Brigitta. <gasps> yes! Hmm. Well, I'll be damned. Certainly took him long enough. Laertes! This is highly irregular. Oh. Come now, father. They're a suitable match of sufficient rank. What have you to fear? N well, nothing but... I haven't spoken to or met her father, and I haven't asked his mind, and, and well, the dowry, and... Brit. Oh, now you're gonna stop, Laertes? Okay, I'll pick it up from here. Thanks. Brit, I love you. I don't want to travel the world without you. If there's any way you share those feelings, if you think you could share your life... I accept you, idiot. Of course. You didn't have to be so public, though. Invite them all into our bedroom, too, while you're at it. Why don't you? <sighs> well, then. Let me not to the marriage of true minds admit impediments. If this is your wish, then... <laughs> we're going to have a wedding. 
Laertes. Congratulations, brother. I'm happy to see you happy. I must admit, I'm relieved. I wasn't sure how you and father would take the news. Let's not let the night end. I've already talked to Bernardo and Hamlet. Whenever we can slip away, the three of us are planning to meet by the pond. What? You want to slip away? But everyone's still here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a welcome celebration, but I can only take so much drunk revelry. A quieter venue fits the mood. You should come. It's been so long since the four of us got together. Yes. I... I'd like that. I'll be there. Uh. This is it. He's gone. I can scarcely believe it. Everything is the way it was meant to be. Hmm. Hmm. I highly doubt it. My father was waiting as usual, but not to chastise me, rather to invite me to some sort of feast in the Great Hall, only to join everyone there. I've forgotten what it was like to see them all happy. This world, this new world, is this the world that would have been without the Book of Fates, without any of it? I can't even uh, fast forward time. Uh. Well, I'm going to be staggering back to my room tonight. Uh. As well you should be. Tonight's cause for celebration. <laughs> and cause to drink to the death of Brit's taste in men. <laughs> You're just upset she doesn't like you. <laughs> it's quite alright. I've grown used to that unrequited feeling. Not for her, though. <sighs> it's been a long time since the four of us were out here like this. Too long. Why don't we ever have fun like this anymore? Did we forget how once we grew up? I suppose so. <laughs> well, I'd say it's the three of you who grew. I never had much luck with that. Sorry, we won. I detest that nickname. As I recall, it was your brother who gave it to you. I'm merely reusing it. That was the summer he called me the Ogre. Such an unpleasant phase for us all. I can't help that I'm so terribly good with nomenclature. I love you all. I've been... It's been... I've watched you all die so many times. I didn't know what else to do. I was so scared. So desperate. But I finally fixed it. I was persistent. I did everything right. I fixed everything. And now you're here. Everything's... right again. Ophelia. Are you alright? She looks like she's falling asleep. She's not making any sense. I can escort her back to her room. No, no, leave her. She loves to be here by the pond. It's a warm night with a full moon. She'll be alright. You know, ever since the castle's been in mourning, it hasn't felt the same. Uh. I agree. There's been a terrible cloud over things. I'm certain that's what Ophelia means. But today, for the first time, I had the thought that perhaps that period is coming to a close. Perhaps things will be well again. Yes. I'm starting to believe that myself, Bernardo. 
In fact, I'll toast again to that. Shall we go find some wine? <laughs> Excellent plan. And some cards, too. Agreed. Good night, Ophelia. Good night. Sweet dreams. have fallen asleep. I wonder if the others are still playing cards. I doubt they'd be hanging out among the graves at this hour. <laughs> Fair enough. I just wanted to check out the cemetery. Oh. Is that Brit? Brit? She just passed out. In the dirt, no less. Brit? Wake up. Brit? She's cold. No. It can't be. It can't be. Is that cheering? Encore! Encore! Yes, please. Don't keep your audience waiting. I've seen this performance before, but I can't help but sit through it again. I didn't help write this one, so I must admit, even I don't know the ending. Look! She's here! Stop! The others. Outside. They're all dead. Someone needs to examine them. My lord, my lady, please. What? Oh, yes, we know all about them. Disregard it for now. <laughs> yes, dearest. Leave them. The crows will get to them eventually. Or the dogs. Now get on that stage, girl. Ophelia. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother could be here to see you. M me? Get on the stage? What's wrong with you all? People are dead outside. Do you... you don't care? Hmm. Ophelia, start performing. Now. You're being rude. Your brother's right. Please. Ooh, the ghost. That's not dialogue that I'm reading. <laughs> That's me reacting. The ghost. Please, Ophelia, flee now. What? I... This is all wrong. It's all... <laughs> mm-hmm. Miss me? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why the pout, darling? Wasn't my retelling faithful? My puppeteering of your family and friends? Was the script not superb? The twist not sincere? And I must say, your own performance was sublime. Well done. What was it you just said, Gertrude, my dear? Do that line again. Ophelia. I'm so proud of you. If only your mother could be here to see you. Ah. Couldn't agree more. It was such an interesting strategy. What an odd way to play. You thought you could actually leave the game board. Just slip a dagger between your opponent's ribs, get up and walk away. How rude. But that isn't how this game works. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, bring on the drama. I am a god. I have played thousands of matches across thousands of worlds. There will be no winning in this game, Ophelia. Only suffering awaits you. There is no secret way out. There is no magical solution. No solvable puzzle. You will live on 
trapped here in great pain, and eventually you will give up. Now take your seat on the opponent's side once more, please. Fine. I found one way to kill you. I'll do it again. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but you see, I cannot die. Not really. I thought it might be fun to pretend to let you win for a while. But now I'm bored of that game. And for your arrogance, we must extract a permanent penalty. You, you're gone. No! Yes. Go. Forever this time. Go to the little dark box where the game pieces lie when they're no longer needed, and stay there. What did you do to him? <laughs> It no longer amused me, so I put the toy back where it belongs. Never to be seen again. After all, naughty players get punished. That's how the rules work. And I'm just getting started. Alright, Laertes, it's your turn. Of course. How can I help, Sir Quince? You can die. They still feel pain, even if they're only temporary fragments. Uh. I don't care about hurting them. I care about hurting you. Oh. Magnificent. What of me, Playmaster? Is it my turn? Thank you. Thank you. You're too kind. And a hush falls over the theater at last. So what's your assessment of this little experiment, Ophelia? Hmm? Have we learned our lesson, perhaps? A truly happy ending can't exist, except inside your imagination, of course. Or shall I force you to stay here in this world? I can bring them back to life, you know, and kill them all over again, dash their heads against the floor, have them duel one another. There's so many fun ways. I'll even let you try. There's one thing I can still do. You can't control this. <coughs> Nothing matters. It's all useless. Ophelia! Ah. Oh. It's death. I've seen it with my own eyes. And the traitor is my own blood. And my mother... Oh, dear God, my mother. Worms. Worms and wriggling earth! All I can see is bile and rot everywhere. I... I can't stay here. I can't breathe. I need to go. I suppose I should at least get up. Yeah, that's about how I expected that to go. Although I want to commend the game on really following through. Like, I figured it was going to end up that way, but... It was done believably enough, and it kept going on long enough that I was starting to think, like, maybe there was a chance? I was starting to think maybe there was a chance. So they really committed to it. <laughs> hmm. Now that the ghost is gone, I don't think we have... I don't think we have any way to convince Hamlet to kill Peter Quinn's. And what would be the point anyway? There'd be no point in doing that again. I do wonder whether... I'm trying to think of how I should react to Peter Quince's words, that I'm a god, there's nothing you can do, there's... Like, they very explicitly said, 
that there's no secret solution. There's no puzzle. There's nothing to solve here. There's no special way if I'm really, really clever that I can figure out a way to defeat them because I am just a regular mortal and they're a fucking god. And I'm trying to think if I should react to that thinking, fuck you, I will find a way. React to that like I'm a hero going to persevere against all odds, which is what I'm going to do. But a little part of me is also wondering whether that's almost uh, almost what I should be thinking is that maybe the story isn't maybe the story doesn't have a happy ending. I mean, it's probably a tragedy, just like this original play, right? Maybe it doesn't have a happy ending, and maybe there really is no secret solution. There really is no special way to stop Quince. Maybe. I'm going to operate under the assumption that there is a way. Otherwise, I would never find it if there was. But I do wonder. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to... I don't know. Find more endings for the Hand of Dionysus, I guess?